Hello YouTube, uh, welcome to my new games room tour. Um, I was thinking about doing a longer video and talking about all the stuff in depth and stuff, um, but I've decided not to bother. Uh, most people just want to see the room itself, which I'm going to sp span around now. Um, and they're not quite as interested in all the stories of how you've come to get it. Ignore that mess down there, I'll, I'll speak to you about that. Um, it's... Rather than talk about it all, because you speak about it in your pickups, and then you also, in past sort of game room tours, I've mentioned stuff. So I'm not going to mention anything because I've spoke about it all before. Uh, I'm just simply going to show you. I might talk a little bit. So this is a bedroom upstairs, and um, it's, as you can see, it's really, really narrow. Um, I can touch both walls at the same time. Uh, so it's quite an awkward shape. Uh, but it suits for, for 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 what its use is. It suits being a, a games room. Um, so let's go straight into it then. I I did already start this video and I've just cancelled it all. So that, that's why the mess is there. I'll, I'll speak to you about that. Um, obviously we've got the door here. Some pictures up on the wall. We've got a, a empty oak little table there. Uh, and then this furniture. Uh, so I'm gonna have to change these and go for dark brown, I think, because um, so it matches these. It's like rosewood, uh, hardwood, uh, probably quite expensive when it was first paid for. Um, I really love the design to it. It fits in with the retro, and I got it for free. It was about to be thrown on a bonfire, um, and my brother-in-law sort of said, "Look, do, do you want it before it, it goes?" And I was like, "Yeah, of course I do." Uh, and it's, it's obviously. It, it fits brilliant with the stuff I've got on it. So we've got here a monitor. Um, it's HD, but unfortunately it doesn't have the HDMI uh, input. Uh, it's just the, the red, blue, green. Is it component? I think it's called. Um, but it's still good enough to... to I use it mainly for the Dreamcast. Uh, the Dreamcast looks really good on there. Uh, these coasters from Game, which uh, if you're watching this channel, you're a gamer and you've been in that store, you've probably seen these and probably have them yourself. I, I think they do different ones now as well, uh, but they're really good. They're really sturdy, they're built really well. I've had these for a couple of years now, I think. Um, Dream, uh, Dreamcast and Xbox 360, probably two of my favourite systems I like playing. Um, I'm going to do a, a separate video on, on the 360. When I first... The, the sort of first take, if you will, I started talking too much about about this and I thought, you don't want a massive video. Um, but I'm, I'm going to talk about this and the Xbox One and stuff. Um, we've got a CRT here, which has got a video um, built in, which is really handy. This was my mum's. Um, and then these drawers. So I'm going to quickly show you what's in these drawers. <laughs> what a mess. Uh, in here is just nothing really worth showing, it's just bits and pieces of rubbish. I keep controllers for systems that I'm playing uh, currently in here, so memory cards and stuff like that. In this one, it's just my sort of repair and care drawer. So I've got some screen uh, protections, box protections, baby wipes, which I always, when I buy new games, I always wipe them down. Um, and then these different screwdrivers and brushes and stuff to get into the games um, okay this mess I don't know why but when I was younger I'd go into Game Exchange which was uh, a local store in Blackburn and they then they, they sort of got bigger they, they, they always did really good trading prices um, and it was sort of everyone's local choice as opposed to game they then branched out and went in Preston and uh, maybe Manchester so they were getting bigger, um, and then all of a sudden they just disappeared one day. They're still about now. There's a website, it's just gameexchange.co.uk, uh, and they do retro stuff on there. Um, I just don't think they're as big as they used to be, maybe. Uh, but I used to just, I'd go on, you'd get this as a bag you get, and I'd keep the bags. Um, I don't know why, but uh, now, that, now that it's a store that's no longer in existence, I just keep them. Um... Right here, so this was a really cool bag from HMV. I think it's Mario Super Mario Galaxy just come out, and I think that's why he's on here. Um, but I've just noticed, um, where is it? Oh, here. So this game bag, hundred percent degradable. So 
I've, I've obviously had these a few years and they're just degrading. Um, last year they weren't like this, they, they sort of held together, but now they're just crumbling apart. Um, same with the HMV ones. Game Station, that was, I think it started off in Blockbuster. Um, well, that's where our first one was, and then it had its own store, but then Game uh, bought them out, I believe. Um, so yeah, I've got a mess to clean up now, haven't I? Uh, in these drawers, let's quickly show you. Again, I'm not going to talk about stuff. I just you just chuck junk inside here. So there's some well, not junk, but stuff that there's no space for outside of here. So a keyboard for the Dreamcast, uh, box controllers, some sealed ones there, uh, magazines for the 360. Uh, in here, are loads of controllers, wires, chargers, adapters, stuff like that. Uh, and then probably the only sealed thing I have in the collection, which is this Buzz uh, Sports Quiz. Uh, for the PS2. I bought this from a car boot for about three quid or something. Um, I've got no nostalgic value to it or, or anything. It's just it's just the uh, Warhammer and Hobbit Games Workshop and some other stuff there. Scalanders. There's boxes behind that. Uh, posters up top here. Um, let's just get that shut away. At the side here is just, uh, there's a box PS3, uh, an amplifier for uh, actual guitar, uh, Guitar Hero, racing wheels for the 360, this is a Dreamcast one, uh, Hulk, I don't know why Hulk's there, why are you there Hulk, what are you doing? Yeah, he's not going to tell me. Sega Mega Drive 2, I've just recently got this. Uh, Kenny Baker there, R2-D2, I got that, uh, signed from him, it was only about three months before he passed away sadly, uh, some film cell for Empire Strikes Back, uh, blueprints to the Millennium Falcon, because I'm actually building one in real life, uh, no I'm not, it's just, uh, I got this bolt for me and it's pretty cool, and I like to do these little areas, so I've got like a Star Wars area, Halo, Pokemon, um, this is like a little family, family area, um, I just, I don't know, it's a, it's a way I, I build my, my games room together, I guess. Uh, but yeah, this this unit is incredible for displaying stuff. So on top, we've got all the the plushies, if you're American, or the teddies, if you're, if you're British. Uh, coolest thing is probably this cap. My mum got me this. She was on holiday in, like, Magaluf or something like that. She's, like, 50-odd years old, but still goes. She's mental. Uh, we've got a NES controller on front, and then my uh, name on the back there. It's pretty cool. I don't really wear caps. Uh, but R2-D2 does, so he quite likes it. I'm trying to press his button. Never mind. Oh, See, this, this is why you just shouldn't touch. Um, the little Halo shrine I've got here. So you've got some of the books. They're not in great condition. Uh, but I have been meaning... I think I've read half of this one. Um, I don't read... I don't read much. Uh, the Halo 4 uh, version of Master Chief. Uh, Halo Master Chief Collection, and then we've just got a Spartan Mark 6. I don't know. It's Mark 4? It's Spartan Helmet. Y you might know, tell me. It, I, I used to know this stuff. It's either 4 or 6 anyway. Uh, it could be... F no, it's not 5. It's 6. Mark 6. I'm going for it. Mark 6. Uh, Pokemon Shrine here. Um, Lucario there, always falling over. Uh, I think this guy's called Krognum or something like that. Um... New Nintendo 3DS XL and Pokeball for um, it's good for Pokemon Go, uh, but it's really good for Let's Play um, Pikachu or Eevee. But sadly, that's that's its only use. It's a bit of a shame, really. Amiibo Pikachu, Pokemon the first movie. This meant so much to me as a kid, like, and I just love the artwork of it, which is why I've got it up here. Um, Mew and Mewtwo, Pikachu. All these, it it just looks really cool. Um, even the back does, and inside again, you know, yellow. Video, how it's, you know, it's so cool. Inside we've got the Mewtwo card there, which I had to buy separate. Um, leave that there for now. This is Pikachu. Um, let me just turn this on. See so what I'm going to turn this light off as well. Quick swig of my brew. It shuts me up for a few seconds. Uh, but yeah, this looks so amazing. It's uh, obviously yellow for his, his lightning. You can see my fingerprints on top there. I'm going to have to polish it again. Um, you can get different ones. I believe there's like Squirtle or Bulbasaur, Charmander and all that. 
Uh, probably others. Uh, my wife bought me this off eBay, I think. I think it was eBay. Uh, but yeah, really cool. Light back on. Underneath that, this is just uh, sort of a random area of stuff which look pretty good on display. These Lego things, well, it's not Lego, but it's... It, of, the, I, I don't know what they're called, but they're really miniature Lego-type pieces. Um, easiest one to put together was this squirrel, uh, although it looks pretty tricky. Uh, but you can see, let's see, this is one single brick piece there. Like, how, you, you know, I don't... It's just so difficult to put together, and then once you've put it together, they're not very sturdy because of how small they are. It Pac-Man is, just because of the shape of him, um, so he's quite alright. If he falls on the floor, he's usually alright. Uh, Sonic, I built a couple of years ago, and he's been through wars, so he's lost his arms, he's lost half his head, and I've had to rebuild his legs, so that, that's not how they should have been. Uh, but it still looks pretty good. <laughs> um, they're just... People come in here and it's like, do not touch. Um, well, I guess I'm like that with most of it, but uh, I, I won't mind more of them. Really frustrating to put together, but they actually look really good. Um, little, you see in the boxes inside the, the unit, so this is Warhammer. Um, these are really good. So I painted these ones, and I think I've done a really good job. I don't, I'm not a very artistic, I've not painted much. You can see the size of them, they're quite small. Um... But yeah, I, I sort of really took my time doing these. This is one my wife did. So she was doing like the evil characters and I was doing the good. Um, but yeah, it's another little another little hobby, uh, which is good. Pop Flash there, really cool. Luigi, my, uh, Luigi in his cart. Uh, different Dreamcast stuff and the Amiibos at the back. Um, in here, I just keep uh, DS's. Uh, they're all in the box at, at the moment. And then inside here are all um, Skylanders. Um, yeah, different different Skylanders. I mean, you've got all the Skylanders games. Uh, guitar, which I've mentioned. This area is sort of less retro games and more just sort of family stuff, I guess. Um, we've got a picture at the back, which I got... Uh, a few years ago, when Oscar was younger, he's six now, I think there is, is like one or something, uh, probably younger than that, uh, I went away for nine weeks to do a course um, when I was in the military, and it was nice to have that photo there, so you know, I've still got it now. Uh, fire engine, I got this when I left my last my last job, um, obviously, cool little fire engine there. we got Batman, Joker, baby picture of Oscar. Um, and there's some more pictures there. The pen that I made. And then the, all the good stuff here. So through the top, some boxed stuff. Some stuff are in the boxes, some aren't. Like that is one of the, the best looking uh, limited edition consoles ever. On the back it's got redstone. Like a trail of redstone leaving to the power source. Which is just really cool. Um but yeah, I love the thought that's gone into that. And it's, yeah, I, I love it. Really love it. That's set up in the bedroom at the moment. Uh, the boxes for other stuff. So the Xbox One, day one edition. Um, probably the one and only time I'll ever get a console the day it comes out. Um, other boxes up top. Uh, the sort of pride and joy in my collection is the Dreamcast stuff. Um, I've worked quite hard to get... This in a really good, uh, really good state. So with cases, I mean, any, anyone who's collected this or a PS One uh, knows uh, that these cases could be a nightmare. Um, but most of these ones uh, work fine, and that you can still put the games in. Um, some of the better quality ones have got wrappers on. Um, Sonic Adventure is my all-time favorite game on the system, um, and my all-time favorite Sonic game. As how old would I have been? So I'd have been nine, ten years old when I was playing that, um, and I, 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 it was it was brilliant. Shenmue I didn't play when I was younger, but I played it uh, more recently. Um, and again, wow, what what an incredible game! I hear people talking about this game all the time. Uh, Shenmue Free, and you know, just talking about it, how great it is, um, and when you think of how old it is as well. I mean, I spent the best part of two hours putting coins in a 20p machine 
turning it and getting trying to get all the Sonic toys. Uh, it's just the it's just so. I don't know what what word do you use? And then I went to an arcade and I started playing those arcade for for, for an old game on a fairly old system. That is incredible. Uh, and even now, even now, it's it's still like how 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 have they fit all that into it? It's just. If you've got a Dreamcast and you've not played it, Jesus Christ, go and get it and play it. It's, it's, it's really good. Um, some DS games, 3DS games. Luigi and Yoshi. Wii and Wii U, very small collections. Um, and then the Switch. That's going to be small because I've, you see on YouTube people's Nintendo Switch collections and they've got like 100 games or something. Like if you, you go to a game shop and you see how expensive these games are. Like how on earth do you afford it? They cost a fortune. I mean, but this is um. So Animal Crossing is my wife's well, one of her favourite games. Um, we got New Leaf there. I think there's another one somewhere. Happy Home Designer or something like that. Um, here, she really likes Animal Crossing games, and I seen this Animal Crossing. And I was like, wow, yes, yeah, this is this is gonna be good. Uh, but she hates it. It's such, such a terrible game. She said. Um, but yeah, it's it's just the keeping safe. It's it's hers, not mine. Uh, that's just a a book of photos, family stuff. Uh, more Pokemon videos there. So up to sort of Pokemon the third movie was my childhood era of Pokemon, um, and it was it was really big for me. I loved it. PS2 games. Most of these I got rid of a lot. Most of these are sort of games that my little lad had enjoy or I thought he'd enjoy, so I kept them for that reason. Um, apart from some of the new ones that were added. And then we've got some PC games there, which unfortunately you can't play on um, newer PCs. You need like Windows 98 or something. CDs, Blu-rays, I'm not going to go into. Same with the DVDs down there. They're just here for the time being. These are all um, games which are unworthy of display on the shelves. Um, they're either got dodgy boxes, the broken, missing manuals, or stuff like that. Uh, Minecraft books—they <laughs> really helped me when uh, when I'm, I was playing Minecraft. I don't really play it anymore. Um, some game guides here. They, I'll show this one. I, I, every time I do a video like this, I always show this book. So I just think it's so smart. Um, but this is a Fable anniversary book, and Fable was a really, a really uh, good game, um, and still is now. Um, but if you see these pages, I'll show you like this. Like, look at that, like gold, really cool. Um, and I'm using this now. The game I'm playing currently at the moment is Fable Anniversary. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna play them all again. So I'm using that book to help me get some of the secrets. Um, and then we've got my Steel Book Limited Edition collection up here. Forza, Mass Effect. So these were like tins. Um, they're not. These aren't in the best condition. You see, sort of a wear and tear up here. Um, but again, I bought these for for really cheap. Tomb Raider, Gears of War, different ones here. Um, weird that there's a FIFA one. Um, but again, I think I got that from Game for like twenty five p. Bioshock is my my favourite one. I just think that looks incredible. Like the colour, the the texture of it, the, it just really smart, really smart steel book. That uh, Turok's pretty good as well, uh, and then some others there for the Xbox One. My very, very small Xbox original collection. Some good games there: uh, Star Wars, uh, Nightfire, Fable, Halos, First Call of Duty that started the whole thing off. Um, they were all in my recent pickup video. 360 games. Again, some really good titles. Green Day Rock Band, brilliant having that as, you know, I'm a huge Green Day fan, uh, a huge gaming fan, so to get it, get them both is just really good. Uh, and then some Xbox One games as well, which I've stopped really, I don't I don't really collect for that system. Um, Mega Drive, some Mega Drive games without the, I, I'll not, they, they was in my last video, so I'm going to talk about those, I'm just going to show you these ones. There you go. And again, we'll, we'll not discuss those. The mess that I've made. 
lots of space here for development. Uh, and then we've got the sort of chair that I use again. It's good on obviously on wheels because it gets me to each each screen. Uh, this has gone off. Uh, this is my PC. Uh, so I hate the Xbox One. Really, really hate it. Um, and I've not give PS4 um, enough thought really. But everyone always says PC gaming is the way forward. So the idea was I'd sell all my retro stuff, which I've sold so, so much, like 80% of it all. Um, and then from what I make with that, I'll buy a PC and emulate the stuff on here, um, which I have done. I've got a PS1 emulator on there, but it's just not It's not the same. I, I can't enjoy it the same. I'll, I want it on the actual console. Uh, but I do really like playing. So the, the games at the top are what I've been playing. Um, Age of Empires 2 is incredible. Planet Zoo, wow, that, that is a good game. Um, the Half-Lives, so, you know, it's still some of the old PC stuff I still enjoy to play. Resident Evil 2, uh, Fortnite, and then uh, the tower down there. So I built, I built it myself. I got the different parts, got the case, and then watched the video, put it all together, pressed it on, and it works fine. Uh, really, really easy to, to build. Um, I thought it'd be a lot more difficult than that. I'm just struggling at the moment. This little green light there, that's the Wi-Fi adapter. Um, and it's getting the signal. So at the moment, at the moment I'm on, like the Wi-Fi is on. But if I start a video like YouTube or, or anything like that, um, it really struggles. Like it's really slow and I don't know why, like the Xbox will connect from here, my phone will, other stuff will. So I have got something I've ordered, uh, which you plug into the mains and then it creates um, like an, an Ethernet point. It turns your mains into Wi-Fi somehow. Uh, so I will, depending on how that goes, I might do a review or do a little video about it. Um but yeah, it's really brilliant gaming on here. It's you know to have my modern stuff here all in one corner, and then behind me all my retro stuff. That that's that's perfect for me. Um, another photo there, and that's it. And that's the tour. Um, again, I'm really fortunate to have this space. Uh, I know some people, uh, you know, don't have this space, and uh, you know would would be really grateful to have it. Um, I was finding that utility cupboard that I was in, if you see my last game tour video, which was only last month, um, but that's since changed. That's become a, a reading room for my wife, so there's a bookshelf in there with all the books, uh, and just a little seating area, just a quiet, it's a quiet spot in the house, so it's her de-stress area, whereas this is mine. Um, and obviously I had a lot more stuff, so it, ma it made sense to have this room up here. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's it. It'd be interesting to see sort of a year down the line how much this changes. Um, brilliant. Right, well that that's it. That's everything. So thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Hope I've not rambled on too much. I'm pretty sure I have done, done that. I've now got some mess to clean up. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in uh, the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.